like a guest, you can tell. From the sound of the music, it's man on bourbon time. And tonight's bottle that we will be featuring is the Clover, which is another bottle that I just so happened to find from MGP. As I told y'all, MGP juice, it's everywhere. All you gotta do is look and you'll find it. Because it's definitely there. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Cameron, as always. And as I just said, thank you for coming back to another episode of Men on Bourbon. And yes, as you can see, I have an array of MGP products. It was the one episode, I believe, it was, I can't remember what episode, but I was featuring an MGP product and just, I got, I stumbled and I said, you know, just look around and you can find some MGP products. Wasn't telling you no tale, like I say. As I took my time and looked around in the basement, MGP everywhere. I'm saying this, this, and these are just a few. But tonight's offering, I bring to you the Clover. And which the Clover is a bottle that they dedicated to Bobby Jones, the golfer. Which Bobby Jones is one of the first golfers to ever complete the Grand Slam. Which, uh, we don't get all up in that, but the Grand Slam in golf is like the Super Bowl. The World Series. You know, and Bobby Jones, you know, he was a gentleman and a champion. So they dedicated a bourbon to, to Mr. Bobby Jones. But, again, it says it's from Madison, North Carolina, which is where Mr. Bobby Jones is from, but distilled in Indiana. As I've always said, if you see anything that's distilled, bottled, or anything that has to do with Indiana, 90% of the time, that's MGP juice. So, again, I see you have Clover. As you can see, they got Bobby Jones on there looking very regal. Kentucky Straight Bourbon. This is said to be, uh, I believe, a six year bourbon. Excuse me, let me zoom a little bit more. This is said to be a six year bourbon, single barrel. They do have a 10-year offering, a 10-year single barrel. This bottle right here came in at $50. They have a 10-year for $65. Um, I haven't had a chance to grab the $65 bottle yet, but this one here, I was very, very impressed with. I mean, because like I said, I've been looking at it. The, the, uh, the bottle was very intriguing. I really didn't know if that was Bobby Jones on the cover. I'm gonna be, I mean, quite honest with you, I did. I really didn't. But doing my little homework and reading up on the bottle, and I'm a golfer myself, so they're really intriguing. So I got me a bottle, and as you can see, I'm halfway through it already. Damn good bottle, and it's a bottle that you can find too. So like I say, cause. Nobody really looking at it because they don't know anything about it. So I said, you know what? Let me go and get my man on bourbon fans a review on this clover and let them know what this is about because there's no need for them to overlook it. This is something I really think that you should have on your bar. Legs. Very, very nice and pronounced. Running a little bit faster than I would really like for a bourbon to do. But all bourbon can't stick and stick to the glass like most. So the nose is very aromatic. I'm talking about you getting like cotton candy, butterscotch. little bit of peppermint. You get a, a very light hint like, like, a, like this came out like a toasted barrel. I mean, 
that shit. They could have called this a toast because it's very, you know, you get that note. There's your vanilla, your caramel. A little raspberry. The nose on this is very nice. Very, very nice, y'all. I mean, you can't get, you can't go wrong with the nose on this. I'm just be honest with you. you can down a little bit. But going for a set, Bobby Jones, gentlemen, and a champion. Cheers. in your mouth so nice so sweet so soft it's you get the butterscotch or I mean off rip that's the first thing you taste then you get the spearmint that settles off into the tongue the finish is like red velvet just like a red velvet cake I mean this is this is phenomenal let me go in for a second sip because I'm trying to pull that wood note. Now, you know, it's a little youthful. But for it to be, you know, that youthful taste, I mean, this is phenomenal. I'm getting like a, a rosemary. Getting that char from the barrel, but it's not overbearing. It's, I mean, this is this is very very nice. See now, now that I got that taste of the barrel in my mouth, now I can pull it out of the glass. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a sleeper here. I mean, if you've seen this bottle on the shelf, you really need to treat yourself to a bottle. This is phenomenal. This is absolutely phenomenal. I love it. I love it. Single barrel. The Clover. $49.99. It's just sitting on the on uh, shelf at your local liquor store waiting for you to pick it up. So, go off into uh, my judging. At uh, price point, $50, they hit it out of the park. I think that's a phenomenal price for that bottle. Availability, like I say, it's sitting there waiting on, it's waiting for you. It's, it's probably got dust on it. You can put, probably write your name in the top of the, on the top of the, right here, on the, on the base of the, I hate when I fumble over my words. But you can write your name and it got so much dust on it. Excuse me. The nose. Awesome. So I'm not giving my hold up. Rewind. Availability, five. Price point, five. The nose, five. Palette. I'll have to get a palette of four. I think it's still a little young. And the finish, four. So, what's that? 15 plus eight. 23. 23. That's a must have for your bar, ladies and gentlemen. That's a must have, you know. Take it from me or not, but I said it's a must have. And it's a delicious, it's, deli it's delicious. So ladies and gentlemen, until next time, always in part, please hit the like, subscribe, and share button. Please share with a friend. And um, if you can't encourage anyone to drink bourbon, you're discouraging them from finding things in life. 
My name is Cameron. Sitting here with some delicious MGB, MGP products. And uh, I think the next, we, we, you know what, before you go, we're gonna try this 1776. This is another one that's sitting there on, your, on the shelf in the liquor store that you look at all the time. This is a $30 bottle. $30. Born with the Republic. Born with the Republic. Now I might jump off and do a little something about James E. Pepper a little later because his family they went through a lot to keep their family name alive and to keep this bourbon alive. And believe it or not, Colonel E.H. Taylor, Colonel E.H. Taylor, he jumped in and helped keep this family name and the bourbon alive as well. But I just want to do a quick hit just to let y'all know how this bourbon is. By it being an MGP product as well. So we're getting a twofer. A little young on the color. I mean, the color ain't as like as amber as most bourbons are. The nose, a little pungent. I mean, I got a little uh, a medicinal smell at first, but plums, dates, a little apricot. Cheers. Definitely tart, tart, but very good. Tart. Um, all the thing, everything I just named is what you get. I mean, because it's giving my throat a little pucker on the finish. Goes down real smooth, but my throat. Is... Yeah, that's a. Uh... different but it's good the $30 it's a bar filler for sure yeah peaches low uh you getting that that barrel but it's not barrel. This is more like a, a, a I don't want to say bark in a bad way, but it's like just tree. You're getting a tree with like a with some sap on it. You know this. Uh, this is a different type of bourbon. It's very good. I mean, excuse me, wrong choice of words. It's good. It's good. You know, quick rating. Uh, price thirty dollars. That's cool, you know. Price point is on point. A four, availability because it's everywhere. A five on the nose. A three. So that's eight, twelve. Uh, the palette was different. Get out a three. We had fifteen, and uh, the finish. The finish was nice and smooth. Get out of three. So I had about an 18 on this bottle, you know, 18 out of 25. So there you have it. Just reviewed a couple bottles from MGP for you. And again, as I said, always in party. If you can't encourage anyone to drink bourbon, you're discouraged with from finding things like. I'm your man Cam. Please be safe, be prosperous. And until next week, go buy some bird. Cheers, y'all. I'm out.